Hello! So we're going to talk about chakras in this video, specifically the emotions and the energies that disrupt or imbalance each one of the chakras. But before we dive in, make sure you like this video, that you comment your experience, that you sign up for our channel, that you subscribe to our channel, and that you hit the notification button so that you know when we have new content for you. And also share it with people you know that love this kind of content, that need this kind of content, and that will benefit from this information. Everybody benefits from chakra knowledge, right? When, the more you understand your chakras, the more self-mastery you develop, and the more your life is awesome. That's what I have to say. The more you know about the chakras, the more awesome your life is. So when we talk about the root chakra, which is the center of security and safety in the body, it's where physical health stems from well-being, physical well-being, all of that, it is imbalanced by fear. And fear is a natural emotion that protects us from danger. But when it's too much fear and it's not, it's being wasted in non-dangerous situations, then your energy field is misaligned and your root chakra is misaligned. So fear disrupts or imbalances the root chakra. When we talk about the sacral chakra, which is the center of pleasure in our bodies, what happens with the sacral chakra is that pleasure has been taboo in most cultures in the world, Western cultures, Eastern cultures. So whenever we feel pleasure, it comes associated with guilt. So it creates a vicious cycle in our bodies, in our sacral chakras. So pleasure, guilt, pleasure, guilt. And you live in that loop and that's not an amazing life because why were you born? You were born to expand your consciousness and to be happy and to enjoy life. So once your survival is guaranteed, you have good health, all of that in, in the root chakra, what comes next is pleasure, your birthright to pleasure in the sacral chakra. So if you don't give yourself permission, you feel guilty about any kind of pleasure and that will misalign your sacral chakra. When we travel up to the solar plexus, it's the center of confidence and personal power, right? Self-esteem, where we share our talents with the world, where we connect with other people in society, not just our families. We're, you know, expanding our life experience and people don't feel like they have any obligation to love you in society. So whenever we feel like we're not accepted, we may feel angry. So anger is the emotion that disrupts or imbalances the solar plexus. What happens with anger, and anger is a natural emotion like fear. Guilt is not natural. Okay, but fear and anger are natural, is that anger protects us too. It protects our territories. It protects our energetic boundaries, right? Healthy boundaries and all that. So healthy fear in the right amount is natural and it's desired. But when fear is intense, I'm sorry, when <laughs> natural fear and natural anger are okay but when anger is too much it's insane right when we are just going way overboard with our anger it disrupts the solar plexus and it creates shame so anger and shame really mess up the solar plexus so that is incredibly powerful once you have that consciousness you can truly start changing your life when we travel up to the heart it's the center of love in the body and it is imbalanced by sadness, attachment, and grief. So natural life situations of loss are inevitable. Pain is inevitable. We feel sad when we go through pain. It's only natural, right? Unlike guilt, which is, as I said, not natural, but fear, anger, and sadness are natural emotions. And when sadness is attached to attachment when it comes with attachment it becomes it's it's being fed 
and it becomes an energy that's going to disrupt your heart chakra because you feel sadness when appropriate in divine proportion and then you move forward. You feel grief from loss, but then you move forward. But if you're attached, you're perpetuating your sadness and you're perpetuating your grief. So the heart chakra becomes totally misaligned when that happens. Then we move up to the throat chakra, and that is the center of truth in the body. Truth is part of your personal power. It's actually way more powerful than personal power itself, right? But you re it requires confidence. It requires self-esteem to say the truth and to honor the truth. So what disrupts the, the throat chakra is lying. Lies really mess up our lives in the throat chakra because they're incompatible with the truth. So lies are a distortion. Nothing natural about lies, right? And we may lie on purpose. We know we're lying. It's, it's a more conscious kind of energy, but we don't necessarily lie because we're mean people, because we want to show off or pretend we're something we're not consciously. Sometimes we lie, actually most of the time for most people, to not hurt other people's feelings, kind, kind of being mindful of other people's expectations or desires or, I don't know, fake emergencies, whatever it is. So if you're a people pleaser, your throat chakra needs alignment. Because if you're not honoring the truth of who you are, the truth of what you want, you're creating a facade, you know? And ultimately, it's going to crumble to the ground. And you don't want that to happen in a traumatic way. So start honoring your truth more, becoming who you were born to be, being gentle with the truth, addressing people kindly, but stop pleasing others at the cost of your own truth so that your throat chakra is healthy and awesome. Then we have the third eye, which is the center of objective thinking. And a clear mind, clarity of mind, seeing the world as it is. We have that ability, we have that capacity. That's the third eye's natural state. But when we engage in complicated belief systems, limiting beliefs, and illusions, which is the very energy that disrupts the third eye, then your life is not as great as it should be. Because an illusion is very different from a lie, right? You really truly believe that something untrue is real. That's what defines an illusion. And your higher self will not tolerate any of that. So ultimately, illusions are also going to crumble to the ground. And again, you don't want that to be traumatic. So the more you seek consciousness, the more you seek consciousness expansion and sharpen your brain power and nurture yourself with high quality knowledge and choose not to be stubborn about limiting beliefs and give up on needing to be right instead of knowing and seeing things as they are, then your third eye chakra, your third eye chakra is gonna be very happy. Okay, and the last one is the crown chakra. It's the center of spirituality in your body. And spirituality is surrender. So most of our lives is all about surrender. We don't control life. We, we can develop self-mastery and we have a lot of choices about our personal life experience. But most of our existence is all about surrendering and allowing life, God, source, whatever it is that you want to call it, to run the show. So you just flow with life's abundance and the path that your higher self is choosing for you. So what disrupts the, the crown chakra is control. When you choose to control, you're not living a spiritual life. You're not surrendering. You're not developing your crown chakra. And control creates an unhappy life. No one is happy when that person is controlling. 
it's a fake kind of power, you know, trying to tower over people, trying to control other people, control life, control yourself. It's just, you can't control certain things in your life. You have choices. But when I talk about control here, I'm talking about trying to control life and the world around you. That is not at all what your crown chakra wants you to do. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope it was clear and that it brings you amazing things. Make sure you like the video and comment what you thought about this content here and that you share it with people you love and that need to hear some information or all the information that's in this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the notification button so we can always keep letting you know that new content is here for you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.